Good morning, and welcome again to sit down with Father John on this Wednesday. It's hard to believe that we're now in the first week of September. And being the first week of September, Friday, we have a special Mass at 7 p.m. followed by adoration. And then Saturday, being the first Saturday for the Immaculate Heart of Mary, we have adoration at 8 and Mass at 10 o'clock. It's hard to believe that this weekend also is the Labour Day, our national holiday, the last of the summer, the end of the summer wine. So our office will be closed at lunchtime on Friday and will not open again until Tuesday, the 8th of September. The 8th of September being the birth of Mary, the Mother of God. Over the last national holidays, there has been a spike in the coronavirus in many places. That because people let their guard down. They accumulate in large places. So this weekend, please don't take things for granted. Don't let your guard down. Make sure you keep your social distance. You wear your mask and wash your hands. Keep your children safe and be well. So please do that, okay? I know the governor has taken down the lockdown of visiting nursing homes, but if you do visit nursing homes, be careful if they let you visit. But maybe this, if you have somebody, be careful when you're visiting them because it's important that we don't get the nursing homes with the coronavirus 19. No, Sunday the 13th, uh, September the 13th, we're starting Faith Formation. We have everything set. The Faith Formation team under Samantha have organized the classrooms with safe distancing, with masks, with washing the kids' hands, trying to make the place safe. So we start Faith Formation on the 13th of September. That will be the first session. Then we will work on the second session and the third session. So please register your children as soon as possible so we can organize faith formation. Now faith formation will be much different this year than last year because of coronavirus. And therefore it's important for you to come in, register and talk to the faith formation team. Our youth group are going to meet this Thursday because it's a very special day. In St. Louis, the Society of St. Vincent de Paul are having a virtual meeting in honor of the Society of St. Vincent de Paul, which are celebrating 175 years in existence. 175 years, wonderful. But we were going to have a great celebration in St. Louis, but we can't because of the coronavirus. So they're having a special virtual meeting on Thursday evening is the virtual meeting for the youth group of St. Vincent de Paul. Here you have St. Vincent de Paul. The society was founded by Frederick Osman, and the reason it's called Vincent de Paul, he used the spirituality of St. Vincent de Paul encountering Christ in the poor and the poor encountering Christ in us. Tuesday, the 8th of September is a special day in St. Anne's because St. Anne, with St. Anne, we celebrate the birthday of her daughter Mary, the mother of Jesus. And but since of the coronavirus, we're not going to have any special celebrations, just the normal Mass at 8 a.m. on Tuesday morning. Regarding opening up in October, I am working with various committees. I have worked with the Parish Council, and, and they have got a, a positive feedback from some of our parishioners that we're going to hold a special night for ladies of the parish. 
the ladies of the parish on the October the 20th. More details of this ladies' night out will be available in the bulletin. Now, if you are a, a lady of a young family, a young housewife, or and you have children, the, they're trying to work on how we can get babysitting facilities. So just keep your eye on the bulletin for the date, October the 20th, Ladies Night Out. Remember ladies, you have a night out. The bingo committee are anxious to start bingo again because this year is the 10th anniversary of bingo. Bingo was set up 10 years ago to help the parish reduce its debt, especially the mortgage debt. And over the last 10 years, the profits from bingo nearly have paid a year's mortgage. They took a year's mortgage of the 10 years. That's a lot of profit. So I want to thank all those ladies who worked the last 10 years. So hopefully we, we'll be able to start mid-October, bingo, if everything goes well. Other facilities want to work are the Rosary Makers, the Kateri Group, and other groups. I'm working with them if we can keep St. Anne safe. And that depends keeping Anne safe. And how I can keep Anne St. Anne safe is we don't let our guard down, we keep our social distance, we wash our hands. I don't know many times we're told to wash our hands and wear your mask. Some people don't like you wearing a mask, but please wear your mask. It's the new norm. So hopefully if St. Dan is safe, we'll be able to proceed to a lot of things in October. There's hope to a normality coming. And now we will pray to Our Lady and to St. Dan for her birthday, that she'd give us a birthday present of going back to normality. In the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We will now pray together. God our Father, give, give your chosen, chosen people, people your, your help and strength. strength. The, the birth of the Virgin Mary's, Mary's Son was drawn of our salvation. salvation. May, May our celebration of our birthday bring us closer to lasting, lasting peace. peace. And may, and may the virtues she modeled develop, develop our, our lives to, to love, love you and our neighbors more perfectly. We ask this through Christ, Christ our Lord. Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In honor of the Society of St. Vincent de Paul, St. Vincent de Paul, pray for us. Blessed Frederick Osman, pray for us. St. Mary de Lac, pray for us. Blessed Sister Rosalie Rondu, pray for us. And St. Dan, the patron of our parish and the mother of the Blessed Virgin Mary, pray, pray for us. St. Jochum, pray for us. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. 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 So next week, to sit down with Father John, be safe, be well, and have a good national holiday. Keep your distance, avoid big crowds. Good day. <laughs>